Hey, 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 hey! What the heck? I'm just throwing. Go and take your seat, man. The exam is about to begin. Sorry, guys. My name is C. Here's Kosana, and this is Close Up Education. But for you, you should obviously know by now that you should be calling me Usem Numzan. Why Usem Numzan? Because of I will be bringing you topics such as rate and velocity. Okay, let's define what is a rate and what is a velocity. Rate is a quantity which measures the distance over the change in time. And velocity is also a quantity, but then it measures speed over the change in time. Okay, let's break it down. There are both quantities. What the heck? That's this boy. Okay, sorry. Number one, they are both quantities. 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 They are both quantities which measure. They measure. Quantities which measure. But then they measure different things. Rate measures distance. So it's rate for distance. And its formula is rate equals to distance over the change in time. Over the change in time. Velocity measures speed. It measures speed. What is the formula of velocity? It's V for velocity equals to speed over the change in time. So speed over time. That's how you do it. But then you would ask yourself, okay, Semnumza, now I understand what are rate and velocity, but then how do we calculate them? Okay, stay tuned because of, A, there's more to come. And make sure you like, subscribe, because of this is our channel. This is how we pass. Okay, let's continue. How do we calculate? Hey, hey, hey. I said turn off that music, man. Uh -huh. Okay, as I was saying, how do we calculate distance? speed or even time how do we calculate it we use a diagram that my miner used to call a dstv diagram but why why dstv because of it had a d for distance s for speed and t for time dst okay where is the v the v is obviously there as the cover dstv dst V. Okay, how do you use the DSTV diagram to calculate distance, speed, or even time? Very easily. Let me show you. Okay, distance. So we have our distance here. We want our distance. What's left? What can we use in this diagram to find our distance? Obvious. What, what's left? It's speed and time. Meaning we have to use speed and time to get our distance. How do we use them? All right. We say speed and time have to multiply because of no one is a numerator or a denominator between the two. So they have to multiply. So it will be speed multiplied by time. Okay. To get our distance very nicely. And how do we use the very same diagram to get our distance? time very same it's time equals to what's left distance and speed so what are we going to do there's obviously a numerator and a denominator here so we have to divide this line will obviously represent division so we would be distance divided by speed that's how we get our time and how do we get our speed it has to be the very same guys hey come on you can do it even at home but then okay let me just continue for speed what do we have is speed equals to what's left in the diagram distance and time so there is obviously a line there which represents division that would mean distance divided by time you could get your speed distance divide by time you get your speed yes okay you've been listening and waiting to actually understand how we use the dstv diagram to actually calculate actual numbers and you've arrived okay we'll be using one scenario to answer 
distance, speed, and even time. So let's make this scenario. Let's say Sam Numzane drove 95 kilometers per hour from Midlands to Dobsonville in two hours. And the question says, what is the actual distance from Midlands to Dobsonville if you are given speed and time? We obviously have to collect data. What is our data? They said 95 kilometers per hour, right? These units represent what we call speed. These units represent speed, right? Speed could be represented in different types or different kinds of units. It could be meters per minute, milliliters per second. But we are also given time. Time was two hours. It took Semnum Zane two hours to arrive at Dobsonville. Two hours. How do we know that this is time? Because it has this unit, which represents time. Time could be represented in different units as well, such as minutes and seconds. We use the DSTV diagram, which we just spoke about now. Okay, let's say it's distance equals to what was left. Speed must multiply by time, right? And what is our speed? Our speed is 95 kilometers per hour. We write it. 95 kilometers per hour. Must multiply by our time. What is our time? Our time is two hours. Must multiply by two hours. But because we can't multiply before fixing the units here, because they are units that look the same, this hour has to cancel this hour and we'll be left with 95 kilometers multiplied by 2. So our answer will be 190 kilometers, right? 190 kilometers in distance. Our distance. Okay, tables of 10. Let's say you are actually given the distance, but then they actually want to know what was the speed that Mr. Numzani used. We obviously use our DSTV diagram, which I just spoke about. Our DSTV diagram said speed equals to distance divided by time, right? Distance divided by time. We have our distance. What is our distance? 190 kilometer. 190 kilometer must divide by our time. What is our time? Two hours. We obviously have our time. Two hours, right? And before we divide, we first check, are they units that are the same? If not, okay, we continue. They have to combine. So 190 kilometers divided by two hours will be equals to our 95 kilometers per hour, right? This is our speed. This is our speed. Okay, Len, let's say we are actually given our distance and we are also given our speed. And the question wants to know how long did it take Sam Numzane to arrive at Dobsonville. We use our very same DSTV diagram. What did our DSTV diagram say? It said it's time equals to distance over speed, right? And what is our distance? Our distance is 190 kilometers. 190 kilometers. And what is our speed? Our speed is 95 kilometers per hour. 95 kilometers per hour. Right? Before we divide, we check. Are there units that look the same? If yes, they have to cancel each other. Which unit here? It's this kilometer and this kilometer. So it will be obviously 190 divided by 95 equals to 2 hours in time. So it took Sam Numzani 2 hours to arrive at Dobsen. Okay, so for our bonus tip, let's say you are not given 2 hours, but then you are given 120 minutes. And obviously, before calculating, you firstly have to convert. And that is our next topic. Our next topic will be around time, converting time, calculating time. Our fifth topic will be around okay. time. So let's say you are given 120 minutes and they want the distance. So what do we have here? We have distance equals to speed multiplied by time, right? What is our speed? 95 kilometers per hour. Right? Time is 
what is our time? 120 minutes. We can't calculate the two before converting the minutes into hours. This minute has to be converted into hours before calculations. Okay, how do we convert them? You will understand more of converting time in our next fifth lesson. So let's continue here. It's 95 kilometers per hour multiplied by bracket. Use the Botmas rule to calculate it more simple. So you say 120, 120 minutes divided by 60. Why 60? Because of in 60 minutes, that's one hour. 60 minutes, one hour. We'll understand more in our fifth lesson. So what will be left? 95 kilometers per hour, right? Multiply by two hours. And this is obviously where we started, right? Hey, what? Going. OK. 